Hello everyone, this is Soxeus and welcome to episode 25 of Agrarian Skies 2. I hope you guys have been well. I have been busy. I've always been busy. Always busy. So once again, before I get started on quests, just want to show you what I've done over here with regards to sorting out uh, some better power or not better power because it, it, it's quite a good power source that I've got. It's just, I had an issue where I wasn't getting enough of these, of certain petals. So what I've done is I've only got one lot of soybeans now. And I've put in a, I took out the other patch of soybeans and put in the green. And then over here, I believe I had more soybeans and it's just not necessary. So I've put in another lot of magenta because that was quite far behind and th there's an issue and I remember this from a long time ago I hoped that maybe it had been improved but it doesn't seem to be now when you've got these with the um, largest radius upgrades that you can get it means that basically it's not quite as good because it's got such a large area to check it means that it's quite slow in picking basically picking the um, harvesting the crops so the purple plants and the orange plants I've got loads of and I had tons of soybeans because I had three patches of them and the magenta red yellow green it just seemed to be not keeping up with the rest of them. So if we have a look in here, we've got lots of orange, lots of purple because they were the two that just have the one harvester just for itself. And the rest of them, I mean the blue's not doing too bad actually. And um, we've got some yellow hanging around there. We're starting to pick up on the green again now, but now we've got magenta's not still not quite picked up even with that second patch. We've got an absolute ton of firm tofu. We really don't need three patches of that so we've got that there that's going to start slowing down but we do have um, coming up to 13 stacks of epic bacon which is quite cool we're waiting on some red petals there what, uh, no you are red yeah so the red is a little bit behind so what I was thinking was possibly using this space here to plant more red. I mean, look, it's here. It's just slow to pick them because it's such a large area for the harvester to cover. So I might reduce the harvesters and actually double up on these larger sides here so that it they get picked faster. That's one of the things I can do. So yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. Get out of it. I'm gonna try it out first with adding some extra patches and seeing if that then can keep up. But we're not doing too bad. I mean nearly thirteen stacks of epic bacon isn't too bad at all really. That red should be going in there any moment. There we are. And then it all goes crazy. And that's all the red gone again. Oh no, we've got another 63 in there. It's not fed it through. It's topping up these first. And then it's going to pull through there. Dink. And now we've got nearly 14 stacks. So that's good. We, we've got plenty of food there keeping up with my power requirements at the moment. At the moment. Until I start doing other things. So let's just pop back over here and have a look at the quests that I've got set out for today. Now, I just want to say as well, I have a surprise for you all at the end of the episode. So make sure to keep watching and you will find out what I have got in store as a little surprise for you all. So let's go into Bees and Trees.
Now we did that last time and I said well I'm not going to bother collecting those proven frames just yet, there's no point, I haven't got any room to put them, I don't have a B area yet so I, I'm just going to leave them there un un uncollected. Um, so here we've got laboratory set up. To start messing with bee genetics you are going to need tools. So we need to make a blank gene sample, a genetics labware and an upgrade frame and I believe they are in here. So here's the blank gene sample, four tin around a piece of redstone. Thank you. Here's the genetics lab wet. So that's four glass panes and a diamond. And then the upgrade frame is four tin, two redstone and two golden nuggets. Done, and we get a reward bag and four light upgrades. Let's pop that in there. What sort of bad? We got bad bag. We got a good bag. And we get fancy seared brick. Great. Just what I always wanted. And guess what? I ha Oh, I do have a space. Get in there. Right. Next up, we have to make a tree grafter. Just a grafter, not a tree grafter. A grafter. Tree breeding can be rewarding work. Plant two different tree species near some apiaries. Wait while the bees do some work. Eventually, you will be able to see mutated leaves while wearing spectacles. When you see the leaves change, break them with a grafter. Analyzing the result, resulting saplings, and with any luck, you will. Oh, sorry. Analyze the resulting saplings, and with any luck, you will have a new species. So, the grafter is made with one bronze ingot, two sticks. Here we are, and we get another bag, and we get an industrial grafter. Now, the industrial grafters, if I get that there, I can show you. You can actually charge them, so they don't break. You you charge them up and use them like that. Ooh, a greater bag. Okay. Let's see what is in this. Two spawn chicken eggs, actually. Yes, why not? I only have one chicken over here at the moment. So why not put some more in? Wait, what am I stuck on? Let me in! Here, chicky chicky. Have some friends. Ow! Right. Ow! Ow! Horrible beasts. Get out. Right. Fly all the way back over here. Pop that in there. Right. So we have done that. And... I haven't done these. Ooh! I didn't realise that that unlocked. The reason why I haven't done these, if I put in genetic... So the imprinter, bronze gears, fine. Sturdy casing, fine. B receptacles, a little bit more tricky. Power module, a little bit more tricky again. And genetics processor, yeah. I'm not lacking materials, I'm just lacking the will to put this all together. So there's that as well, and there's that as well. Great. So, I haven't made those yet, but they do unlock a quest elsewhere, so I will definitely take a look at that for next episode. So what else did we have done? Do, 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 do. Uh, for the hoarding, I have been working on solar panel, solar fun. I'm up to 43%. I've got 130 out of 300 solar panels. And yeah, that's just chugging along nicely. So the other fuller hoarding quest I wanted to get done was McCory's. And it wants us to make 100 deluxe cheeseburgers. So as you might have seen there, I have ingredients. So to make a hamburger, 64 raw beef or um, firm tofu. Well, I'm saying 64. It, it wants us to make 100, so 100. There's the other 36. So raw beef or tofu. Toast and a skillet. So there's 64. And there's the other 36. And then we want to add that, take that away, to the cheese to make cheeseburger. So then we get 100 cheeseburgers. And I will show you how I made the cheese in a minute. And then we take the cheeseburger, we add some lettuce, we add tomato, and we get the deluxe 
cheeseburgers. And they actually do five lamb chops of food and one, two, three, six of the saturation. So let's manually submit those. We get a reward bag. It's not opened up anything else. Okay. Oh, it's epic. One, two, three. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Ah! Right, let me show you how I automated cheese production. So, let's come over here. Try and avoid things that want to kill me. Hey, hey, let me up. So, I have an aqueous accumulator filling up the water tank which feeds all of the sprinklers. So, I threw a cyclic assembler next to it put a pot in there and I've moved that because I didn't want it to keep on making but basically water in the pot makes salt that's it that's how you get salt so I had it making in there it was feeding down here so it sent the salt down this way and here we have a rancher that is milking the cows the milk it gets pushed into this cyclic assembler and with a pot and the salt from up the stairs and the milk that makes cheese and that is how I was making cheese and now I it's just suddenly occurred to me that I said I was going to look at how to automate chocolate milk production didn't I hmm well I think I've done all of my quests I didn't have too many quests Okay, so, oops, if we go back to for the hoarding, open up, chocolate milk. So we were looking at that last time, weren't we? So chocolate milk, see, it's saying, huh, okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. How much does it want? 500 buckets worth, okay. So let's get some stacks of cocoa because there's lots of them. Do we need another bucket? Yeah, we've got one there. So we need a milk bucket and a normal bucket, right? I, j I just want to see if this works. Just want to know. So, get rid of that because we don't want anything going in there. Uh, we want to change the schematic. So, we need one bucket of milk. So, come here, angry cows. Let me milk you. There. Ow! And then in there, we want to put milk bucket and cocoa which makes chocolate milk right let's take that cheese out okay now will this work or is it going to throw the bucket in there hmm because what I wanted it to do was to pipe out and I don't know if it pipes out fluids. Uh, we have some fluid ducts there. Nothing to pipe it into though. Get off. Let's put the cocoa in there. That there. Let's see if I've got something that we can just quickly... Well actually... Because even though they have internal tanks, I don't think they pipe out water. Uh, tank. Just give me a cheap tank. Uh, tank, you, portable tank, one copper and glass. 
Yep, got all of that. There. I probably don't have a servo. Stay away, angry animals. No. So, uh, like that. You're saying out from there. I'm saying in from there. Hmm. So it does just make a bucket. So, how? <laughs> this is the question, and if you guys know, please tell me. How do we convert the chocolate milk bucket from that to place it into liquid form without me having to craft 500 buckets? Because it wants 500 buckets of milk, uh, chocolate milk. I could craft 500 and then just have those feeding into the, that might just be the easier way you know because I really <laughs> so lazy so lazy so lazy should I just do that have I got a quest delivery system who knows quest delivery system because I just as much as I would like to find a um, solution to that problem and I'm sure there is one and if you guys know Please do tell me. Ah, okay, I can do that. So, book in the middle, glass and wood. Other way around. Yes, get my book back. And we then don't want fluid ducts. We want we want, we want, is that right? Can't remember. Let's see. Lead, tin, yes, item ducks. Okay. So then, oh, no, wait, forgetting very important key material here. Sure, why not? Let's just have it follow me. Come with me, iron. <laughs> so cheaty. I love this magnet. Right. Up here. Out. Right. Let's. Uh, yep. Let's put that there. Ooh. Oh, really? Put that there. Where did my iron go? Did I leave it somewhere? Oh, I bet it didn't follow me in, did it? Oh well, I have loads of it. I'm not that fast. Um, quest book. So you put on that. Select task. Right click. Okay. Then we're going to open that up. We are going to make a ton. Are they only stacking 16s as well? Oh! Right. Let's make some more. Right. Can we get any more in there? Yeah. Let's take out some of this salt. There we are. And we need a servo. Do we have one? Please have one. Yes. And you, servo, are going to do that. And you're going to start pulling. And go out that way. <gasps> that doesn't say to me that it's taking any buckets. But the milk is definitely disappearing. Let's just stop you there. Just for a moment. Maybe it didn't work because I didn't set it up properly.
No, I didn't want you on there. Get off. Or maybe I just hadn't changed that over. Was that what it was? It's probably what it was, wasn't it? Because look, it's taking the milk. Are you working? No. What are you doing with my milk? Okay. Alright, turn that off. Right. So. That there. Make you go out. Are you going out? Are you? Are you? Are you? Yes, now it's taking it out. Slowly. Why? 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 Really? It's not counting. It is not counting up. Get off. Get off. Get off. Right, that guy's is going to have to be left for another day because for some reason even though it's pulling them through it's not counting them which is quite annoying so I'm gonna to have to do some testing off screen and see what happens so finally for your surprise now I know I have been teasing you OCD folk all about all of my messy chests and inventory space and everything else I know I've been teasing you a lot I'm sorry so for that I'm going to do this There. <laughs> Ta da! Are you happy now, people? Are you happy? There is stuff in the things with the stuff. I hope you guys are happy. <laughs> so, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope those of you keep moaning at me to get A sorted out. There you are. Very basic system just to start clearing out the chests. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy it, leave me a comment. Tell me what you didn't enjoy. And, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Oh, and please do subscribe. Please. We're nearly at the 400 mark. Please keep subscribing. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, guys, this has been Success Playing Agrarian Skies 2. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.